We'll do a quick uh, preloaded bolt demo here on this part. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, it's actually an assembly, I'm going to set up uh, automatic connections and say I want linear contact between all the, the parts and, and let FEMAP set that up. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, tetra mesh everything in the model and I'll load up an existing material and let me just grab an aluminum here and say OK and just let the mesher fly. Now what we've got here, let me, let me turn off the mesh real quick and show you what's going on here. We've actually got a couple uh, four part assembly, uh, you know, two of these outside pieces and two little things representing a bolt. So let me show you what we'll do here. Let's turn off that one and turn off the other one and turn off the highlighting here. So now what I'm going to do is cre create a little rigid spider in here. So I'll go to our cus custom and tools, meshing, spider surfaces. Let's create one on that one and one on that one. And then uh, some of the neat things, this is all 10-1 type functionality. What I'm going to do now is turn the mesh back on, turn the solids back on too, but just to get in there and take a look at everything, let's go in and turn off the solid uh, elements. I can just turn it off by property, and I can turn off my geometry, and turn off my connections and things, and those are my contact regions. Get rid of them as well. So, let's go in here. And I do want to turn on, let's just turn the curves back on. Uh, I just want to make sure these nodes are at the center, so I'm going to do a modify, move to uh, node. I'm just going to grab the center node and move it to the center of one of these curves here, just to make sure I'm dead center. And let's do the previous command, pick that middle node in the bottom here. And I'm just going to zoom in, make sure I'm getting the right one, and then do the same thing here and update him. So I just wanted to get them right down the middle. So let's create a, a beam element. Uh, Preloaded bolts in, in FEMAP and NX Nastran are all based on uh, beam elements. So I need to create a new uh, property. And I want to make a beam property. And I could type in all the values, or since I know it's a circular shape, I'll say circular bar. And let me just calculate a radius here by measuring uh, Control D. Oh, I hit Control F. Sorry, Control D, and I want to measure from this node at the middle to a node on the outside, and it tells me there's the radius 375. I'll say OK. And let FEMAP calculate the properties for my fastener. Just type in a title. So now I just want to create that beam element in there from that middle node of this one to the middle node of that one connected to that property we just made. I'm just going to align this beam with the global Y. It's a, it's a circle anyway. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. And say OK. And now I've got my, my beam in there. So at this point, uh, I can put a preload on it. So the first thing I want to do is just create a new load set. And then I'm going to create a load definition. Uh, I want to create a bolt preload of let's say 500 pounds I'm just going to pick that element and what that's going to do is pull put that that kind of beam in tension in 500 pounds worth of tension before it actually runs the rest of the model so let's go ahead and clean up the display a little bit more here I do want to give just some loads and constraints on this guy well I can, I can actually do it from here uh, under loading I also want to create a load on a surface and we're just going to pull on this thing we'll say 2500 pounds in the Y direction and then under constraints, I'm going to create an empty set. And then here I want to mail uh, a new definition on surface and just pick that surface down and fix it. So that looking good there. We're loaded and we're constrained. Uh, we're getting closer to be ready to run here. Let's go create a new analysis. We'll call it NX Nastran. Uh, linear static is fine. We'll say done. And I'm just going to, I'll save this somewhere so that we can run it. This is fine. Let's call it M1. And I'm going to hit Analyze and let this run. Uh, it looks like Nastran's finished here, so go ahead and uh, shut that down. Uh, let's just turn everything off. Turn the mesh back on. And we'll turn, uh, we've got solid property turned off. So let's take a look at this thing deformed. 
and we can see that it's it's definitely working there. It looks like things are in contact. Uh, turn on the stresses. So that bolt did load up and, and hold everything together there and keep it all from sliding. So um, it's pretty neat the way that thing works. So that's pretty much how you set up a preloaded bolt in FEMAP.